It looks like we're going to have Armand Watts here. This is going to yeah. work out just perfect. So we'll uh, we'll uh, put a stop. We'll we'll put a stop to our uh, five three four, and we'll welcome uh, our first guest out here at uh, the New Winter Park, the TCO Performance Center on Commonette Camp. It's uh, our fourth show of seven. Armand Watts and Armand, thanks for being with us. We do appreciate it. No problem. Appreciate you having me. Yeah, good to, uh, good good to see you here. They just released the depth chart today. Congratulations. Um, you've been named a uh, starter in the interior line of the defense. Congratulations. I <laughs> appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, was that does that come as a surprise to you, or did you feel confident that year? You you know, the, so far you were drafted. I think you were drafted in 2019, six mm -hmm. round pick. Mm -hmm. You know, so again, you know, that's a little lower than a lot of guys are. But yeah, you know, yeah. you go from that. Now you're a starter. Surprise you, or did you feel like you played well enough you'd get the spot? Um, it, it didn't come to a surprise, you know, leading into this season. I would say um, last year, if you would have caught me off guard like that, having to start nine games with Mike being out and stuff like that, it caught me as a surprise. But I knew at the end of the day I had to make the best of the opportunity, and um, everything, you know, took off play after play after play. And, you know, I had a lot of confidence coming into this season. I knew it wasn't just going to be given to me, of course, you know, uh, but I definitely worked to get where I'm at. So, what? Um, how much did you know? There've been a lot of discussions. We're going from a four-three, a Mike Zimmer type defense, to mm -hmm. this three-four under Ed Donatel. How does that change what you do? Does it change uh, a lot? None at all? Some? Uh, I wouldn't say it changes tremendously. Um, you know, last year we kind of sprinkled in a little bit of three-four. So, um, as you can recall, I kind of played up and down the whole line last year. Nose, three-tech, four-eye. So. You know, I think that I think this defense is going to put me in a great position to do what I'm best at, and I'm excited about it. Yeah, and what do you think you do best at? Um, everybody, to me, everybody has a niche, and I think the coaching staff knows my niche is a pass rush and interior D lineman. So, you know, when I got guys like Zadarius and Daniel next to me, I think it's only going to help me out. Yeah, I well, it should because again, you know, it, it's that you know you move guys around; they're going to be mm -hmm. standing up. It sounds like a lot, and so you know the uh, you know ideally you're going to have an offense that's going to that you're facing is going to say we got several guys, we got a yeah. we got a block here. Who are we going to pick? And that should free each of you up at different times during the game. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I think a lot of people, you know, forget, you know, five sacks is not easy to come by as an interior lineman. And, you know, I'm, I've always been an underdog, you know, since I've been in the league and even in college sometimes. So, like I said, I'm going to just go out there and do what I'm good at. Yeah, and it's a lot of fun, too. And um, what, what's it like, you know, what's what's been the adjustment like for – Zadarius and Daniil, do you have they, have they have you talked to him about that? Because obviously it's a little different than you know, especially Daniil was a hand in the grass kind of a guy. Now he's yeah. now he's kind of standing up as, uh, on the edge. I think he's having a lot of fun with it. Him and Zadarius, um, you know, I I think our coaching staff does a good job of giving him a little bit of freedom, um, whether they want to go up and down the line, and you know that helps me out also. So whenever we have two guys like that where they can collapse the pocket and then I'm getting interior pressure, I, it'll bring more sex to me. You mentioned uh, feeling like an underdog and obviously drafting the sixth round and maybe not knowing where you're going to go in the draft, you can have that feeling. Have you always had like an underdog feeling in, like throughout your life or were you one of those guys where you're always the biggest, strongest in whatever sport you played? Uh, no, nah, not necessarily. I think it's always been kind of like that. You know, I was only like a two or three star coming out of high school, didn't have a bunch of offers, went to Arkansas, didn't play to like that fifth year, um, had to work my way up here. You know what I'm saying? I didn't start playing my rookie year. Um, you know, I still kind of embrace it because, you know, even though I had five sacks last year, you know, I, not a lot of people would know it. So I feel yeah. like that's been kind of swept under the rug. And, you know, I'm eager to go out there and prove that it just wasn't a one-hit wonder. Did you play any other sports growing up? Did you have any oh, other yeah. passions? <laughs> yeah, I played basketball all the way up into high school. So I did that my whole life. Uh, power forward. Center. <laughs> four and five. Power yeah. forward. <laughs> four and five, right, yeah. Bit. Yeah, let me guess. They 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 counted on you to rebound a lot, right? <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to be. I guess you could say they're enforcer. The yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I I can see that. I understand. Yeah. I understand. You know, you'd mentioned you said you know maybe not a lot of people notice your five sacks. I got to admit. I mean, I watch every game. Mm -hmm. If you they would ask me how many sacks you had, I wouldn't have known. Yeah. Is that also is that like almost a chip on your shoulder a little bit being an underdog, or um, do you just go, nah, it's no big deals. You don't notice. You will eventually. I think for me, it, it definitely is uh, some type of chip on my shoulder. I wouldn't say it weighs on me heavy, but, you know, just being able to do that in the National Football League, you know, we've got guys that's never been able to get sure. five sacks, so, you know what I'm saying? So um, I guess you can say it's some chip on the shoulder uh, to go out there and be able to do that again and even more. You know, I'm excited. Like I say, I've always embraced the underdog role, being swept under the rug. So. How do, you, how do you feel about the defense as a whole in general? The last two years, obviously, on your side of the ball, did not go as well as you guys would have liked. Do you feel like things are going to be changing throughout the entire defense this, yeah. other than just the system? Yeah, I'm excited. I think uh, KO's done a great job of getting our bodies ready for the season. Um, I know we've had a lot of injuries up and down, and I feel like, you know, 
since my rookie year, this is where a lot of us have been healthy. And uh, I think he's going to do a good job of keeping it that way. Uh, like D's back. Um, EK is healthy. Um, I like what I see in Hicks. He's a great linebacker. So I feel like we finally got all those pieces together. And, um, you know, we could be healthy like that. We can be pretty pretty good. Our guest uh, is interior Vikings defensive lineman. It's actually defensive end now. Defensive end. New 3-4. Defensive so. end, 3-4. Defensive yeah. end, Armand Watts, who has uh, uh, been named a starter on the depth chart uh, here today. Um when, when you face different guys across the league, are there a handful of names that you go, these guys are really a handful? Are there some guys that, you know, the, the better offensive linemen that you face, or are they all pretty – I mean, I know they're all pretty good, but there are some yeah. guys that stand out above others? Um, yeah, of course, we got those all-pro guys, pro bowl guys like that. But one thing about me, I don't try to give one guy too much praise or a, a guy not enough praise. Right. I kind of just approach it the same. You know, I, I got to do what I know how to do good against them, and you know, that's how I look at it. Yeah. Who, wow. do, who do you face most in practice? Uh, for the Vikings offensive line? Um, Ezra a lot. Ezra. Um, the new guy, Jesse, he's pretty good. Uh, Bradbury, so, you know, I've been here with Bradbury all four years, so I've got a lot of work against him. Of course, Ezra and me playing three tech. But I would say those two guys probably the most. How do you feel like Ezra has developed? Because he's, you know, kind of probably around your age as well, uh -huh. right? Uh, he's good. We were just having a conversation with somebody, and I think he has uh, one of the better techniques at guard. He uses his strengths well. Even though he's not the biggest guy, you really couldn't tell by the way he plays. And uh, I'm excited to see what he can do to help us this year. It seems like uh, maybe this is just us watching the old Johnny Randall on, on mm -hmm. NFL films where he would talk smack a lot and chirp. <laughs> uh, it seems like offensive line, defensive line, you could probably get a lot of that given how physical the nature is of that game. Are you someone who – are you chirping the offensive line, or are you pretty quiet? <laughs> it depends. Everybody <laughs> has their moments. Um, you can ask anybody around the building. I'm pretty much a quiet guy, a humble guy. But, you know, it's always getting those moves where, you know, hey, if you push that button, then I'm going to push it back. You know? Yeah. Well, that's what somebody said when they said you're going to be our guest. He goes, he's, he, he kind of keeps to himself a little bit, but you can probably draw some uh, draw something <laughs> on him. But I think you did. Yeah, you saw, you, yeah. You've had, you got plenty to say. And you, it sounds like you got a quiet confidence. and. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, good luck. I mean, uh, again, thanks for coming over and have a great season, and we look Thank forward you. to seeing you on the field. No problem. Thanks, Appreciate Armand. It. Thanks yeah. for Congrats that's on being first team. Yeah. Thank you. So that's Armand Watts. He's now defensive end, Tennessee. Thanks for yeah, correcting me. Not end, interior Watts. guy. He's defensive end Thank in you, this Armand. new uh, a three four uh, defense. Thank you. Yeah, good luck to you. Yeah, you bet.